everyone, welcome to Channel Awesome's Orba Report, your source for everything happening around the world in pop culture and entertainment news. I'm Heather Roos. And I'm Anna Wade. And this is your news for Monday, March 5th. First up, we wanted to say we are recording before the Academy Awards, so amazing how many things won. Congratulations, you guys. I'm so surprised at that one thing that happened. Wow. Who saw that coming? Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> classic Oscars. <laughs> so congrats to all of the winners, and we will be telling you everything else that happened this week. Yeah, so first of all, we got news about that Rocketeer reboot that we've been hearing about, and it is confirmed that there's going to be a female lead now playing the Rocketeer. And it's going to be animated. And on Disney Junior, with a target audience of ages two to seven. Oh no. Yeah. Seems like a really odd choice there. I mean, it's a little unclear about whether this is a whole different project that is being run right now, or if it is the Rocketeer reboot that we have been promised. And I'll put reboot <laughs> here in quotation marks because it doesn't seem all that similar to the movie. So yeah, it seems like it's a weird choice an audience of two to seven seems like the strangest choice of all here. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it'll be good. Maybe they're trying to bring in a whole new generation of kids here yeah. into the Rocketeer and experiencing it, but it still just seems like an odd fit and an odd choice. Yeah. They're going to be, each episode is going to be two 11 minute shorts and um, stories with a musical number, an original song in every episode. I like that. I, I musical guess. Rocketeer. Musical Rocketeer. I'm on board. Maybe diff older audience, but yeah, mm, interesting. It seems like just such a. St I know I've said this like twice already, but it's such a strange choice. I'm really not excited. Okay, but if you think uh, about Steven Universe okay. and Adventure Time on Cartoon Network, those shows kind of fit that shorter format with occasional music numbers and they're great so maybe this could be great maybe <laughs> but it's not for the same audience that's what gets me no like, that's closer that's... to teen titans go audience oh no please no right let's let's not teen titans go rocketeer oh no please no that would be awful <laughs> just Can absolutely insane no i can't oh, no. i can't yeah, so it's gonna follow the story of Kit, mm -hmm. um, a young girl who receives the Rocketeer jetpack as a present, and then takes on the mantle, and her and her friends go on some great adventures. Okay, that learning lessons. I can do, but singing. I'm I'm not sure where this is going. I have some I'm hope sure. yet, though, because I could go for a musical Rocketeer. Sounds excellent. That's right up my alley. You've checked multiple boxes for me, but. Ooh, I'm worried. <laughs> I'm really worried about it. I mean, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm going to watch it just because I don't have a two to seven year old child, nor do I have access to Disney Junior. That so. has never stopped me. <laughs> That's a true Let statement. Let it be known. <laughs> I will definitely watch it because I need to know that it's good. Yeah. Well, that'll be coming to Disney Junior in 2019. No release date or anything for it yet. Just that it's in the makes, it's in the works. Fingers crossed, you guys. It's coming. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> also this week, Netflix announced a few things with the newest season three of Stranger Things. Yay. Do you remember Erica? Yes. Yes. Lucas's 100%. little sister who stole every scene she was in. So sassy. Well, I loved Priya her. Ferguson, the actress who played her, the character is now being bumped up to a regular reoccurring character on the show. Yes. Yes. Uh, she's gonna be amazing, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, also, in the release, it said that she was going to have kind of her own posse, like an army of her own friends. So, yeah. man, that's, yes please. Give me some snappy dialogue with <laughs> all of the all of the young friends. That mm -hmm. sounds great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am in for that. Also to this season, they're going to be adding a new character played by Maya Thurman Hawk who you might recognize from BBC's Little Women that we talked about on the show before. Um, she is going to be added as a bored alternative girl. Hmm. Oh. Did we already do that with Max? <laughs> oh, and Wasted Max. Yeah. Wasted Max. Yeah. Come on. She could have been great. She was good. She wasn't great. 
And she also didn't really have her own reason for doing things. Mm -hmm. Come on, Russo brothers, are we gonna do this again with this <laughs> new female character? Cause I'd rather not. Is she going to be a love interest? Uh, no thank you. Is she going to be a femme rival? Uh, no thank you. Just give her her own purpose on the show. That's what I want. Like, Eleven is great. Ah, but Max, you wasted her. What a great character. So, worried about that character, but excited for season three, nonetheless. Oh yes. Of Stranger Things. Yes. Scarier and stranger than ever yes. before. Oh my gosh. Very excited. Mm -hmm. Also this week, uh, it was announced that New Mutants is going into reshoots, which yeah. in and of itself is okay. Movies have done reshoots and they've succeeded because of it. However, apparently that's because they're adding a whole nother character. That's insane. Yeah, because it already that's had crazy. a final cut and was pushed back a whole year. So we're, it's still coming, we've announced before, but it's still coming out February uh, 22nd of mm -hmm. 2019, but now we're adding a whole new character and that's worrisome. That's just bonkers yeah. to me. And we knew it was gonna go into reshoots. Once they pushed back the date, right. it was announced that they're going into reshoots mm -hmm. to change the tone, to make right. it scarier or something like that, which was already worrisome. Yeah. But a whole, a whole new, new character. character. And we don't know who or what actor is playing that character. Mm -hmm. No idea. So it's a mysterious new character played by a mysterious actor. Who knows? Not us. Not I. That's, I'm worried it's a mess. That just tells me that it's going to be a mess if yeah. you have to add a whole new character. So screenings, not oh, great, no. I guess. I know, I guess the <laughs> tester, testing screenings are just not going great. Because it was supposed to come out next month. Right. It was supposed to be April 18th, like 2018. Yeah. It was done. And pushed back. We've heard multiple reasons why. But now, a whole nother character. It's what? insane to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this week, we got news of a movie being pushed forward. Yeah. A little movie you may have heard about. Um, in Infinity War, oh, the, the new Avengers movie. I think that sounds familiar. It's getting pushed up a week, which is exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to be mm -hmm. able to see this movie a week early. <laughs> the only thing that I know some people have said that is negative about this is some people have already like gotten off work on the fourth or the third, uh, getting ready to be able to buy their movie ticket and oh, see no. it that day. And now it's irrelevant, but it's great news. <laughs> for most of us. Yay, I'm sorry if you sorry. did take that day off work and now, now it's ruined, but it's fine. You're fine. It's going to be fine. We all, that shift with someone. We're all going to get to see it early. <laughs> and the reason that most people are thinking that it has been moved up is that the April 27th release date was the release date in the UK and there were some other release dates earlier in Europe and I'm sure they're doing this so that no spoilers are hitting the internet before yeah. the US audience can even get a chance to see it. This which, is why we can't have nice things. Right. But it is a great call on their part because I am positive it would have been sto spoiled, oh. pirated. It's got to be sure. for piracy issues and yeah. it's a very smart move on their part to move it up to avoid those piracy issues. Mm -hmm. um, there was also some chatter that it might also be so that Solo could get a little bit of breathing room. So Solo is also coming out in May, and since both properties are owned by Disney, um, the thought process is if Infinity Wars is in April, then it won't conflict at all with Solo, mm -hmm. so that people won't have to decide, ooh, do I go see Avengers or Solo? Because most people are probably gonna go see Avengers, given given that I mean, choice. Yeah. Because some of us are still <laughs> a little worried about Solo. That, that point was me. I'm a little still worried about Solo. So yeah, that's coming out sooner rather than later. I liked how they announced it too on oh my Twitter. Gosh, it's so cute. With yes. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> if we could call a movie announcement cute, yes. So they uh, the official Marvel Studios Twitter had posted that, you know, how hyped are you for Infinity Wars? And Robert Downey Jr. came in and was like, hey. Maybe I could see a little bit earlier. And Marvel Studios Twitter was like, anything for you, Mr. Stark. And then he's like, how about some friends? By the way, my friends are the world. Everyone, everyone. <laughs> I'm taking like, everyone to see it. Okay, <laughs> sure, great, here you go. That's so great. So great. I love it, it was yeah. really cute. <laughs> I, love a, I love a good announcement. Yeah. I'm a sucker. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> also this week, we got to see a trailer for the new Wreck-It Ralph 2, which is mm -hmm. also Disney. Um, it is called Wreck-It Ralph 2, uh, Record Ralph breaks the internet. Yes. Yes. So instead of just being an arcade game, Vanellope and Ralph get into the internet connection and get to see what the rest of us experience right. on the internet. On the Wi-Fi. 
The wifey. I'm the, I'm the wifey. <laughs> I'm the wifey. Um, yes. Uh, I did enjoy some of the like little things in the trailer, uh, like the little clickbait characters that were yeah. like, hey, look at this list. Number six will surprise you. Um, because I've seen many of those. Yes. <laughs> also, uh, the kitten picture at the art auction was really <laughs> hilarious. Uh, we all know, I mean, I have a cat. Let's be real. We look at a lot of pictures on, of cats on the internet. Yes. So hit close to home. Uh, also, there was that little game the little girl was playing on her like little app. I'm guessing that yeah. was connected to the internet, where you feed like a bunny pancakes or kitten a milkshake. Yeah. And then Ralph comes in and just like forces pancakes onto that poor bunny, which was a little dis <laughs> it was pretty disturbing. Oh, and then gosh. we hear a little pop. <gasps> We didn't see the bunny explode, no, but, but the bunny exploded, you guys. And that little girl's scream tells us that there was some graphicness to it oh, because yeah. that was a traumatized scream. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. All the gore happens off stage. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we didn't really get much from this trailer. No. I will say I was expecting a lot more from this trailer, so it was a, a little bit of a teaser, I would yeah. say, more than like a full on, like, yes, I'm going to see that. Yeah, I was underwhelmed. I mean, I love some Penelope, but uh, I was a little, it was a little little underwhelming but I'm sure they didn't want to release all the good jokes either right. which makes sense right um, because honestly I'm still gonna see it mm -hmm. uh, and we can still <laughs> see that in theaters on Thanksgiving yes on their Thanksgiving release mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be it from us here guys we're running out of time but if there's anything we missed let us know in the comments down below uh, I know all the Oscar stuff already don't worry. We know. We know. <laughs> but if you feel necessary, let us know anyway in the comments down below or on social media. Heather, where is that for you? You can find me on Twitter at Heather Roos, Instagram at HRoos, or Twitch, twitch.tv slash Heather Roos. And you can find me on Facebook as Ayana Wade or everywhere else as Awesome Ayana. Uh, and we will see you tomorrow on Top 5 and next week here, same time, same place. In the meantime, can you beam us up?